welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a haul, a rather sizable one. It's all um, makeup um, and nails and things um, through the month of January and February. I've just kind of been like picking a few bits and bobs up. I had quite a few vouchers left over for my birthday because I got loads of um, makeup vouchers. So I've just kind of been picking stuff up slowly like as and when I've seen it. I have got a massive nails ink haul. Um, I'm part of VIP so they had like a massive um, sale over Christmas kind of get rid of stock and they were selling off loads of collections for like next to no money. So I went a bit crazy in nails ink as well. I've got some stuff from Birchbox when I used my um, points. And then I've got a few like makeup palettes, just a few stuff from Debenhams, just random stuff. So rather than me rambling, shall I just get on? So the first thing I want to show you is this Noxin uh, scalp dermabrasion treatment. Um, it's basically to kind of get rid of all that like terrible build up that you get on your scalp um, and I suffer from psoriasis I've mentioned it a thousand times but I do um, and the bottle just looks like this and what you do is you kind of grid your hair and then kind of massage it in and leave it on for like 25 minutes or whatever and then um, it kind of helps to get rid of all that build up I picked this up on Amazon for about eight or nine pounds roughly around that price but I'll kind of link the full name and the price in the bottom bar below like I will with everything that I show today. Next rather randomly um, I have picked up the excellent high colour highlights in red for dark hair and also a 30 volume cream relaxer. I am planning on dip dyeing um, a pair of hair extensions of mine, um, my Foxy Locks ones and I just wanted to um, make sure that I got kind of the best possible product. I've been thinking about this for ages. I've researched it really extensively, you know, asked lots of people and their opinions and definitely definitely this is the one that everyone says is the best. Um if you guys would like to see me dye my hair extensions, you know, kind of see the outcome, then please let me know and I'll definitely definitely film it for you because I'm going to be doing it anyway. I picked this up off Amazon. It was really really inexpensive and I think both things together were like under 10 pounds. Um, so it's not expensive at all but I have heard that this combination and this product gives excellent results for red on dark hair. But let's move on to the makeup part of my haul. The first thing I want to show you is these lashes from Eye Candy. Um, I picked these up in TK Maxx really randomly for like £2.99 each um, and I got the 301s which are these really dramatic double lashes and I got the number 14s which are kind of just some nice like flared winged out the edges and they're slightly thick slightly thicker at one end um so they'll look really really pretty and like give a lovely cat eye and then I got some winged out ones but they're just kind of like a little bit more natural looking they're not as thick and they're definitely not as dramatic and these are the number fives and when I was in boots I picked up three of the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms um god there's so many like chubby pencils out there for like lipsticks um so I just picked up three of these because I was like I don't think I own any of these but I'm not entirely sure when I was in the shop but it was three for two and luckily I don't um so I picked up the color audacious insatiable and showy flamboyant and I have pre-swatched them so this is insatiable this is audacious and this is showy flamboyant they're all really really pretty um i have tried them on my lips and to be honest i'm not that impressed with them i think they look quite patchy when they go on um so yeah i probably won't be buying any more of these and i think that revlon have definitely definitely got some like better stick pencils out there for your lips than these I'm just I wasn't I've not really impressed I've tested them briefly but I've not actually worn them out because they did go on really really patchy just a quick heads up next I picked up a load of the Rimmel Apocalypse 
um, and I picked them up off a website called Fragrance Direct. I'll link the website below because if you're a makeup junkie, sometimes you can definitely find some great finds on there and other times there's not a lot on there. But yeah, I really have been liking these as well. I've only tried them like a couple of times but I picked up five and they were $1.99 each on Fragrance Direct so considerably cheaper than in the drugstore and the colours I picked up were Shooting Star, Aurora, uh, Across the Universe, Eclipse and Luna and here they are all there so that one's Shooting Star, that one's Aurora, the middle one there is Across the Universe, this one's Eclipse, and this one's Luna. So they're all really, really pretty flavours. Um, flavours? <laughs> they're all really, really pretty colours. Um, I'm wearing Aurora at the moment, um, and they're really, really pigmented, and they're just really, really nice liquid lipsticks, so definitely recommend those. Next off there, I picked up the same website, Fragrance Direct, I picked up three Essie polishes um and I think these like I don't know like 2 dollars or something see what I mean like you can find some really good deals on there and sometimes you really can't um but I got the colour All Tied Up Lady Godiva which is like a really nice dark brown with like some shimmer in it Vested Interest Lastly, from that website, I picked up a couple of Cargo Cosmetics palettes. Um, and these are normally on Debenhams website. I think they're like £35 each and I picked them up on there for 15 I know they've gone back up on there for 2 20 at the moment. But definitely if you are interested in picking up these palettes, go on there rather than Debenhams. So the first one I got was... Ooh, the vintage eye palette and it's just got like a brown faux leather casing and then inside here are the colours a really really pretty like everyday palette and then I also got this one which is the let's meet in Paris eye palette um, and it's um, got a really really pretty it's like a fabric um, case and the pattern on it is absolutely gorgeous and this one is more of a nighttime palette definitely it's got kind of like lots of sparkles and shimmers and you know nice colors for like a really nice nighttime smoky eye um, I've got a few things from Debenhams that I definitely, definitely want to show you. The first thing I got is this set from, that was like, I got it right after Christmas, and it's the Too Faced Under the Mistletoe set, and it was reduced to eighteen ninety from £27, um, and it just comes in this really cute box, and this super cute little glittery bag, and inside a three, um, full size La Creme lipstick. So here are the three colours, um, and this one is Spice Baby, Naked Dolly, and Marshmallow Baby Bunny. Marshmallow Bunny, sorry. But here they are swatched. This is the Marshmallow Bunny, this is the Spice um, Baby, and this is the Naked Dolly. Next, I picked up Benefit's Box Blush in Coralista. Um, I don't know why I don't own this. Um, I won't swatch it because you all will have seen it. But, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that I always look at it and I think, oh, yeah, I'd really, really like that. And then I never pick it up. But I own it now, so yay! And because I got something from Benefit off the Debenhams website, I got a sample of the lolly tin which was cute because I've not tried it before um so yeah that was exciting and it's like the cheek and lip tints um and it's just a really wee bottle like that and it's like really pink like it's like a it's like a a mauve a mauvey pinky colour it's really pretty and that's definitely something I will be glad to try then I got two items from MAC, well, I got two MAC items from Debenhams. The first one is the MAC Pro.
Pro Longwear and I am in the colour NC42 and then I also got a MAC paint pot, um, Pro Longwear paint pot and I got the colour Soft Ochre. And then I got the um, Urban Decay Electric Palette. I don't know why I didn't buy this in the summer. I kept thinking like, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get the Electric Palette. I'll get it next time in town, get it next time in town. And then I never picked it up. And I just had like vouchers to use up. So I picked up the Electric Palette. You've all seen it. Um, it's the Pressed Pigments. And it's just amazingly pretty. And I cannot wait to do some fun stuff with it for the spring and summer because they're coming up and yeah just woo. and then because it's Debenhams they sent me this bag from Clinique um, and inside it were lots of goodies and it was it was free um, so I'll show you what's in that because it's got some quite nice things in this bag so it comes with a little makeup bag and inside first of all is this little duo um well it's like kind of like a little compact and it's got the eyeshadow duo strawberry and fudge and it's got the bashful blush inside so it's got eyes and cheeks in here which is really cute for travel and the colors are really really pretty and i'm definitely excited to give that one a try it's also got one of the chubby stick baby tints i own a couple of these already but not this one and this is in the color poppin poppy um and it's just one of their like tints and it's kind of like a nice pinky orangey color there's also a sample of the perfume happy heart in here and it smells pretty damn good it's definitely nice i'd definitely consider buying a full size of that one for the sample um for the summer um because it smells absolutely amazing so i'm quite glad they sent me a sample of that and then also there is a mascara i've not opened it or tried it and it is the clinique high impact curling mascara and lastly are two face products so it's the clinique Dra dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus and also oh hello cappuccino also the rinse off foaming cleanser i'm really into foaming cleansers so i'm definitely excited to give those two a go and it's kind of like a nice little additional extra um in my debenhams delivery as it were next i got a couple of things from the balm and i used my birch box points to pay for these and i got the balm's nude tood um I've just been, I've wanted this palette for ages, but I've, again, I've just not got around to buying it. Um, and it just looks like that. And it's really, really pretty. And it's just like a really nice neutrals palette. And it's only £26, which I think is a really good price. And then I got for, I think this is £15, I'll have to check, um, the Mary Luminizer. Because I always see everyone use it and I think, ooh, that looks like a really good highlighter. Um, and it looks just like that. It's like a really nice, like, goldy champagne highlighter. Um, and I'm definitely excited for that, considering this spring is on the way. Right, guys, so next on to my nails in cool. I did get a lot, so just bear with me. Um, but the first thing I got is the Bling It On Floral. And I picked this up off Nails Inc. for $7.50. It's because they had a sale one and also I get VIP prices. Um, so you basically pay £5 a year. You get 10% off um, all orders, even sale prices. So even when there's a sale, you still get 10% off. And then on top of that, you get like a free nail varnish worth £14 when you sign up. So... It's like buying a nail varnish for £5 and then you get 10% off for the rest of the year. And you get um, like exclusive sales and you collect points as well. So like every point you collect is worth a pound, which in my eyes is definitely worth it. And then also you get £5 off every birthday month. So um, yeah, and it's for a year, it's £5 a year, so definitely worth it. But anyway, I got the Bling It On Floral and that was £7.20. I also got an All That Glitters set and this one was 4 50 Warwick Road, Marley Bone Lane, P. 
Pembridge Gardens. And bear in mind, these are all full size and full size are 14 pounds each. So the nails ink cells are amazing. I also got the Think Pink set, which again was 720. Um, and you get five full size polishes in that. So I got the Little Boltons, Porchester Square, Bruton Street, Knightsbridge Place, which is kind of like um, a glittery one and Redcliffe Gardens and then I got the floral collection and this one was 13 50 and this came out last spring the floral collection but this is basically five of them Chelsea Embankment Gardens which is kind of like pale pink with blue and yellow flowers in it Glot Floral Street Muse, which is kind of like a peach with blue and yellow flowers in it. Richmond Gardens, which is blue with like green little flecks through it. Daisy Lane, which is pink, white and red. Queensgate Gardens, which is a blue with white and pink flowers in there. I also got the Big Smoke, which was £5.40. Um, and I love this collection. I love it. It's for full size again. And I got Chelsea Green which is so pretty and then my favourite one is King's Road that's a foil a nice chunky glitter one called Lancelot um, Place Place yeah and then oh this one is gorgeous as well the Thames and it's just such a lovely grey it's just absolutely stunning and then lastly I got the Spring Fling collection which again was 720 so I got the South Bank, Upper Street, Cork Street, Gloucester Walk, it's Green Park, so that's what it looks like. Ooh, pretty. I got a free gift, um, and it came in this really cute little box, and this is the Winter Saviours, and in it is just um, three kind of like neutral, everyday kind of wintry shades, a caviar top coat and a nail um, file so guys that's everything that I have been buying over the month of January and February sorry this video was so damn long but I had so so much to haul and I tried to get through everything as quickly as possible if you want to see an in-depth review on any of these products or you know a look with any of these products or a how-to with any of these products then please let me know leave a comment below and I will try and get that done for for you um all prices and websites and things i'll try and link below um the ones that i can remember and the ones that i can find on receipts etc etc but yeah if you made it to the end of this video well done thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to share like and subscribe as always and i'll see you in my next video bye guys